Hey, thanks for checking us out here on Bad River Outdoors. Hey, welcome to Bad River Outdoors presentation of the Q&R. Well, let's go check it out. All right, let's go. We'd like to just throw you a few product highlights that we figure are really good top reasons to have it versus an electronic range finder. We find it as fast, if not faster, when you're at full draw than an electric range finder. The ability to range while the deer is moving is undeniable. You can use it in the fog, you can use it in the rain, cost factors from most retail stores being $30 or under versus $200 for most range finders and in low light conditions it works extremely well. Now the best way to ensure to hit your target is to know the, the target's exact distance which the QR is going to enable you to do. It also is important that you practice using your bow and your QR together because knowing your gear is essential to a successful hunt. This is just a little illustration to show you that the QR works as well from a tree stand as it does on the ground. What we've done in the past, we take uh, just deer silhouettes uh, cut out of cardboard and we cut the cardboard we just make a straight back line and then a little swoosh on a belly line we make it 16 inches wide from the top of the cardboard which would represent the top of its back and then the bottom of it representing its belly as soon as you do that of course your QR is mounted you got your targets ready uh, now it's time to start ranging Now we'd like to show you the three simple steps of mounting the QR. This is what you'll see after you purchase from the store. You'll have your QR and you'll have two pieces of 3M adhesive tape. Uh, simply the outside one is for most, most multi-pin sites and the smaller radius will fit virtually almost every single pin site. So on that note I'd like to show you how I mount the multi-pin site. Uh, First, you'll find whether you want to use, you got to use the flat side of your site. Uh, you got the back side or the front side, whichever fits yours best. Some have uh, curvatures on either the back or the front side, but usually one side is usually a flat surface. That's the side that you're going to have to mount the QR on. So, simply the first thing, it shows in your instructions, that means to dry fit the QR before you put it on so you just get a feel of exactly where it's got to sit on your bow. So simply after you get your Q&R out of, the, out of your packaging, simply apply it to the side of the site like so. You'll see that it's fitting the radius. Simply just show it just like that. You can see the pins, you can see your numbers clearly. All your pins are in the window of the site. So once you've dry fit it, this one here of course will be the larger tape. That'll simply fit right on the outside. You kind of want to dry fit everything before you do it. This tape takes 72 hours to cure. So, and there's really no need to press hard on the tape. It's simply just set it on there and that's all you need to do. So the first thing you want to do is remove the one side of the protective coating. Apply that to the outside edge of the radius of your site, like so. Remove the next layer of protective coating. Eh, you got to have fingernails sometimes to do it too, but I got it. There you go. Put that on there you've already dry fit and positioned your qr now you're simply just repeating the process just take your time don't press nothing on there just set it on there line that up slightly press you're ready to shoot take 72 hours for it to fully cure you might think it's real sticky now if you try to pull it off it ain't going to come off and all it does is get harder make sure you don't over press the adhesive that's just like anything if you overpress it you squish it down if the pressure comes back up it could actually lose some of its strength so you want to just set it on there and just lightly push it okay here we have a few sites that we've mounted the QR on we just want to give you a, a nice close-up and show you what they'll actually look like um, after they've been affixed to your site this one here is a apex gear site and it's a real commonly used site it's multi-pin you can clearly see your 20, your 30, and your 40 in the window of the Q&R. Um, here we have one that's uh, made by Cobra. This is a multi-pin site. 
clearly see the 20, 30, and 40 is in the window of the Q&R. Um, you got your 20 yard pin that should line up between your 20 and your 30. Your 30 lines up between your 30 and your 40. And then you got your 40 that lines up in the center of your 40 beneath the belly line and the 40. Next we got a single pin sight. This one here, you know, single pin ones are a little different but it doesn't affect it. It's very, very easy. You just want that pin centered right between your 30 and your 40 and move it over uh, to the inside towards your bow so as the 40 window is off of the edge of the frame of your sight so you can clearly see the whole 40. Some radiuses are actually even smaller than this but as you can see look at all this room that you have to use. Here's another commonly used sight. This one here is made by Cobra. We already have our QR mounted on there. There's one minor adjustment that sometimes has to be made with multi-pin sights. I've had to make this adjustment myself on mine. Um, my 20 yard pin actually ended up higher than the window of the, tw of the window for the Q&R on the 20. Um, all you simply have to do if your pin's running too high is to take and move your frame up which will allow you just to position your pins back down lower which will give you your 20, your 30, and your 40 clearly in the window of your Q&R. Like I said, that's, that's something that I had to do and I simply just raised the elevation of my frame I simply took my Allen wrench and I adjusted my 20 down so it was between my 20 and my 30 window. The 30 pin between the 30 and the 40 and your 40 will line up right in center as shown on here. What we've done in the past, we take uh, just deer silhouettes uh, cut out of cardboard. We take and we cut the cardboard, we just make a straight back line and then a little swoosh on a belly line. We make it 16 inches wide from the top of the cardboard which would represent the top of its back and then the bottom of it representing its belly. Uh, we try to just make the midsection, kind of like if you had a little bit of leg and then the back and then the belly. As um, soon as you do that, of course your QR is mounted, you got your targets ready, uh, now it's time to start ranging. Hey, thanks for checking us out here on the web at Bad River Outdoors. Uh, we just hope that this uh, short instructional video and uh, the use of the QR will, will definitely increase your odds out there in the field to harvest your next hunt. Well, on that note, Tom, is there anything else you want to tell everybody? Well, I just want to let everybody know that uh, the Quick Range product is 100% American made. And thanks again for checking us out here at www.bedriveroutdoors.com. We'll see you on the trail. Hey, welcome to Bad Rivers all day. Oh. Let's go check it. Yeah, I I, you know, I tell him I want to give the man 10 seconds of fame and I stole five of it. <laughs>